Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D CAD model in Autodesk Inventor software and learn the Autodesk Inventor basic commands. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now here take a 2D sketch. We'll start from the top plane. So we'll select here the exit plane, rotate the view, take the circle command from the center point. Make a circle here of diameter 120 mm. Finish sketch. Take extrude. Take extrude of 10 mm one side and press OK. Select this face. Go to create sketch. Rotate the view. Take here arc command and take center point arc. OK. Make one arc profile here. OK. Go to dimension. Define this arc a radius of 33 mm. Go to vertical constraint, select this point and select the center point. Now go to the coincident, select this point and select this point. Okay, and scale. Now here we have this movement here. So go to dimension, select the center and select the center. Here we will define the distance as 83 mm. Enter. Now go to 3D model, take extrude, select this portion, OK. Escape. It is selecting the whole profile. So select this, go to sketch, and click on construction. OK. Again, select this, make it construction, rotate. Now here, go to the arc command once again. Take center point arc, select this center point, select this point as starting and this will be the end point. Finish sketch, now take extrude, so only this portion will extrude. So I will click on cut, so it will take a cut of 10 mm and press ok. So this is a through cut. Now here, go to the circular pattern, select extrude 2. Go to rotation axis, select this profile, here take a count of 7 and take 360 degree and press OK. Now select this edge, take here fillet and take a fillet radius of 12 mm. Select this edge, so this will become an all round fillet and press OK. Now I want to pattern this on all edges, go to circular pattern once again. Select this profile, go to rotation axis. Now we don't have any axis here. Go to origin and here we'll select the y plane, y axis and take a count of 7, 360 degree and press OK. OK. So this base profile is ready. Now select this top face, go to create sketch, take circle command from this center point. Make here a circle of diameter 55, enter, finish sketch, take extrude, take here extrude of 30 mm and this will be a joining profile, press ok. Now we are going to construct the rib profile, go to 2D sketch, here we will select the YZ plane, ok. Now here we have to make one uh, thing, go to home. The rib profile will start from this profile. Okay. So go to line, go to the right view, select here and select here. Okay. To make it more clear, go to view, visual style, change it to wireframe. And make the internal profile to make it join properly and close here. Okay. Now go to sketch, go to dimension. Define this height as 25. Define this dimension as 30. Okay. Define this as 2 mm. Go to coincident. Select this point. Select this face. Or if you are unable to select this, escape. Go to project geometry and project this first. Now go to coincident. Select this point. Now you can select this face. Okay and escape. Now select this again, 
make it construction go to finish sketch now you can see we have selected the rib profile on this face go to extrude here we will take symmetric and take extrude of 8 mm and this will be a joining profile go to view visual style change it to shaded edges and press ok ok now here go to 3d model now i want a pattern of this so go to circular pattern select this go to rotation axis select here take count of 7 and press ok ok now select this top face go to create sketch take point command and place a point on this finish sketch go to whole command and here i'll take a counter sink this will be a through hole okay now here the top dia will be of 30 mm the angle will remain 90 degree and the bottom dia here will be of 20 mm this will be a through hole and press ok now select this top edge click here on chamfer take chamfer distance of 3 mm and press ok ok now here select the xy plane go to create sketch now go to view visual style change it to wireframe ok go to sketch again take circle command make one circle here of diameter 5 go to dimension from base this will be at a distance of 10 mm and from center point if you are unable to select the center go to line make a center line over here ok and scale select this line make it construction go to dimension select this circle and center line define here a distance of 35 mm ok finish sketch go to view visual style change it to scheduled edges go to 3d model here take revolve so the profile is selected for axis select this axis now you can see a profile crossing through all the ribs so i'll click just on cut so it will make a cut profile and press ok ok now here i'll define the appearance i'll take a aluminium polished so this will be the final output so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct these sort of models in autodesk kinetic software i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you